Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can mark up a web page and save as a PDF file on the iPhone 13 series. Now, if you are doing a research paper, sometimes it is useful to highlight certain part of the web page and then after that, you can save as a PDF document. So first, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on the home screen, open up your Safari web browser. In here, go to the web page that you would like to use markup. And in here, we're going to tap on the share button at the bottom. From the pop-up menu, go down and tap on markup. Okay, once you are in markup mode, there is a toolbar at the bottom here. You can choose to use pencil. Sorry, not very good at drawing this right here. All right, so we can choose a pencil. We can also choose a highlighter to highlight certain parts of the text. Like so. All right, you can also use this uh, smaller pencil right here, crayon kind of thing. You can also um, change the size of the crayon or the pencil tips to make it stronger or weaker. And you can also change uh, the intensities of the crayon. To change the color, you can tap on the color palette right here and choose a different color. Right here. Now to move the page up and down, you use two finger and then you move the page up and down like that. You can pinch it out or pinch in to make it larger or smaller. All right, and then there is also an eraser tool that you can use to erase your mistake. Now, if you tap on the add button over here, you can add in text box. So tap on edit. Let's just say test and I can, all right, and then we can move this. Sorry, I'll just edit again. And we're trying to, um, trying to move the text box. So you can tap on it and move the text box outside the text. You can move it around the screen. Uh, we can uh, add a signature, use a magnifier. You can add shapes, a uh, square, circle, or a, a speech text kind of thing right here. You can even uh, rearrange it, resize it. You can tap on this shape button over here to choose the different shapes. So there are different shapes that you can choose with different border size. All right, so you can also add in a square right here, move the square around the page, change the size of the square, change the border size, and change the shape. All right, so that is um, how you can mark up on a web page. Now, once you are finished with the markup, you can tap on the done button at the top right here, and then tap on save file to, Next, choose where you want to save on your device. You can save it to iCloud Drive on my iPhone or in documents. So in here on my iPhone, I can go down and choose a folder. If you want to create a new folder, you can tap on the create new folder button at the top right next to the save button. Otherwise, select one of the folder that you already have in the list. I'm going to choose this IT Jenkins folder and then tap on saved. And that's it. Now we have saved the web page as a PDF document with the markup. So to access that page, first go back to your home screen and open up the files manager. If files manager is not on your home screen, you can swipe across and go into app library. In here, you can look for files and then open up the files application. In here again, um, tap on the back key to go back to your files manager homepage and tap on on my iPhone and here navigate to the folder where you save the document and I'm going to go down to the bottom and open up that document right there and this is the document that we uh, uh, save so maybe not this one so I have a few one in here this one right here this is the right one all right so this is the document that we have marked up uh, when we were uh, editing the web page and that's it Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.